Did I? I fire danced. I'm just not even thinking. I'm not, I just fire danced once. It did nothing, and so what do I do? I fire dance a second time. I gotta get my head in the game. In fact, maybe we should retreat from this battle, because we're getting kind of... No, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. We will heal up Locke, the only one that's doing any damage. And we are not gonna fire dance a third time. I'm not gonna fire dance a third time. So how's everybody doing? By the way, forgot to welcome you guys back. This is the first recording that I'm doing in uh, the Final Fantasy series for the new year. And so, uh, let me go ahead and be the first, or possibly the hundredth person to wish you a happy new year. 2014 is going to be great. Salmon has learned Berserk. That's, uh, that's a positive. I'm okay with this. Uh, hmm. Does he have any other... See, he's, he's still stuck on just the three, but... Oh, he's actually... This is new. He only had three not that long ago. So this is down... Into the left. Down into the left. This is the uh, the aura bolt. Usually I think he learns this one second. Uh, and this hack, maybe it's changed, and so it's actually his fourth blitz. Which makes sense, because a, a holy damaged attack is uh, pretty pretty overpowered. Is this even the right way to get there? I think we can take this path to get around to this other city. So more battles. These are all pretty much the same. You might find that I'm speeding these up in post. Don't be surprised. I'll probably take some time and, and actually beautify this episode since it's the first one of the year. Gotta start on a good foot, as they say. So let's try the Oral Bolt. It's good. It's good. Now, the Pummel, I think, is actually better in this hack. Because the Pummel has uh, that seizure effect. So it not only does its original damage, it then does damage over time too, which is really nice. Which is really nice. So there we go, taking him down. I think Celeste is going to be really weak with the attack here because she's in the back row. Yeah, 66, that's like not even worth doing. But Celeste, I think at this point, she's just going to be sitting there, looking pretty. Maybe occasionally dropping heals. But this is going to be a sad and lock heavy area. At least until we get into the, uh, the Empire's main base. I'm not going to spoil what happens there, but I will let you know. I do remember this part of the game as well. We meet a, uh, an iconic character. An iconic character. That actually, I think, plays an incredibly emotional part uh, in this game. What am I... Wait a sec. Oh, I, have to, I only have two MP. That's right, by the way! Thanks to the commenters! You guys are beautiful. I'm, I'm still sticking up on your comments, still reading them all. And uh, I was informed that I only had 2 MP in that last battle with Ultra. I was like, why can't you use Cure, Lock? I am completely, utterly ridiculous. Couldn't even fathom checking the MP to see how much he had. <sighs> Sometimes. You get into it, right? You get into it, and uh, when you go back and you look at it in post, you're like, wow, I am the biggest idiot. In fact, that, that comes up all the time. I'm basically always the biggest idiot. And Locke, don't don't try and steal from the dog. The dog's got nothing. Did we just did we just slow this man down? I think we did. We just slowed him down. This is definitely a more efficient way of taking out this battle. That being said, I can't help myself but slam on that A button. All day every day, slamming on the A button. There we go. Get a lot of money from these battles, by the way. I don't know if you if you remember from the uh, previous episodes, but I spent all of my money. Just I lost it all. I, I gambled it away. What can I say? Bet on black every time. No, I bought some stuff from the uh, auction house, which cost me a pretty penny. Which is very unfortunate, but it's nice to get those espers early, especially considering that a lot of these characters. Um, is this a fire dance worthy? But these guys, do they take damage from the fire dance? I can't remember if these are the guys that these are not the guys that resist it, right? I think that's safe to say. Yep, indeed. Oh, the guys on top are weak to it. Now, are these guys on the bottom gonna earthquake when they die? Because that would be a real shame. No, it looks like they're not. But they're gonna earthquake anyway. Is that gonna be a wipe? That might be a wipe. That is not a wipe. Awesome. These are uh, these chicken lips. They are. They're buff. I remember um, back in the original, those guys. You come, you come into a group of four of them, 
and they could just devastate your party if you weren't prepared. I almost feel like I should save here, just on the off chance that I run into some party-wiping enemies after having walked halfway across this continent. It would be a, it'd be a shame to have to go back and do it all again. Here's the... Oh, it's five chicken lips. Here's the chicken li lip group. By the way, chicken lips? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I was told chickens don't actually have lips. And when I was going to grad school at uh, Western Illinois University, there was a local restaurant in that little town of Macomb, Illinois, that served chicken lips. And, of course, they called them chicken lips. They were really just, you know, like adult chicken tenders. But, damn, they were good. They were, like, all white meat, breaded, special, uh, slightly, slightly spicy chicken lip sauce. They were good. They were good. Sometimes I miss the college life. Oh, sometimes I miss that. Thinking back on it, I think I kind of wasted my grad school years. Studying and learning and shit. Who's got time for that? Nah, that's a bad way to think of it. And I didn't think I wasted it because I was studying. I think I wasted it because I just did not. Yeah, one more. One more battle on Sabin. Uh, it looks like another, what, 25 battles unlock. And, of course, I forgot to equip Celeste. This is amateur level stuff you guys are watching, just so you know. Mock me and laugh at me as I am laughing at myself as well. This should hopefully be the last random battle before we get to this town. I feel like we've done nothing except for random battles this entire time. Which is not horrible! It's just... You know, it's gotta be done, alright? It's gotta be done. We're getting some levels as we go. We're getting some experience as we go, so it's not a complete waste. That being said, I do want to explore this town. I want to explore all the towns in this island before we go to Vector. I'm not sure if the story ever takes you to these towns. I assume it does. I assume the story does make you, at some point, come around. She got Celeste with Ice 2, which I think she learned on her own. I do not believe that is part of her Esper. We also have Sabin, who has just completed his Siren. His Siren song here. It, actually, it's not Siren, it's Stray. My bad, he's on Stray, he's not on Siren. Let's move him over to, uh... Or to go him. Now, this is the Esper that we bought at the auction house, so if we had not made that purchase, Seven would now have no more spells to learn. Are you kidding me? Two steps! And it's a surround attack. It's a pincer, if you will. This might be big trouble. Make it double. It's gonna be. It's gonna be big trouble. We're making it double. Let's, uh, let's immediately switch over for the full party heal. Then let's fire dance if we want to. Everybody in my party, I think, is wearing those uh, capes that protect us from, uh, you know, protect each other, I should say, not protect us. Oh, goodness. Well, Celeste, uh, <laughs> hopefully you can, uh, you can make, your, make your stay here. You can hold up the fort, keep the team alive. It looks like they are beating you down. Are you going to have the ability to take one of these guys out with a nice spell? I know they're weak to fire. I'm hoping they're weak to all magic. If that's the case, Celeste might be able to pull us from the brink. If that is not the case, we might be looking at another restart. Oh yeah, I think she's got it. I think she's got it. Everybody else? Taking dirt naps. Celeste, holding the fort down. She's a beast. She really is. I don't wanna I, let's just go for the ice. Let's go for the wind. Let's not take the, uh, the risk-free path. Let's just go straight for it. There we go. So now the question is, do I rush into this town, hoping that I can get free heals, heals? Let's do it. Let's rush for the town. The only time it matters is that you don't get back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back attacks, and luckily we pulled it off. Let's go straight to the inn. I believe the inn will revive our characters, too. Is that right? They're only wounded. They're not dead. Nobody panic. It's going to be all right. Wish I had Shadow still. I can't believe that scrub left us. Right at the opera, too. Which is right when you need him the most. That's why we recruit him. So you can fight him with Ultros, you can bring him here. Everybody's looking good. Full HP, full MP. Oh my goodness. That was a... It's a tough couple of random battles. This is why I feel underleveled. Despite everybody perpetually letting me know. Uh, this is not the case. I'm actually overleveled for most of these areas. It's, the problem is, is that I might be overleveled, but I'm underskilled. Miranda used to be this... This continent's most beautiful town. Now look at it. 
Looks a little, uh, I mean, it looks fine. It looks like it's, it's not, the buildings aren't falling apart, are they? Well, I mean, that inn has a big hole in the roof and in the front siding, but, you know, business is probably tough, but I can't afford repairs. Sen and Albrook fell to the Empire as well. So I don't get it. The Empire was on this continent, but they were just one city. I thought that the Empire was the entire island. It was like Australia or something. What do we got here? We got some armor. Now these would all look, it appears to be these would all be improvements. And five thousand dollars for that. Oh my goodness. I can't afford it. I just I don't have the money. I'm sorry, guy. I know you want to get my money to repair your shop and repair the city, get some tax income going, but no. My son's being forced to serve in the Empire's army. That's unfortunate. What is going on down here? Won't somebody please think of the children? I'm thinking of the children right now. What's this kid doing? My dog's the best. Wait a sec. Are these guys having a dog fight? No, I actually do remember this being in the original game as well. I can't believe Nintendo... I'm thinking back on it. Oh! <laughs> I turned him. I'm distracting you so the other dog can win. I can't believe that Nintendo let them keep dog fighting in the game. Place your bets here. This town is ours. Beat it. Piss off. Phew. Scram. Go. Kick his ass. Yeah, they left they left the dog fight in the game. That's uh Yeah, you know. I do not approve of this. I'm gonna get right in here. I'm gonna stop this right now. Oh! My bad. I'm going to stop it. J just a sec. I'm going to stop it. There we go. Guys. Guys. Can't we be friends? I guess not. I guess not. Let's, uh, ooh. Someone down here is chasing some tail. I should know! Hey, you're kind of cute. You want to, you know? Sure. What's up? What are we doing? We can get some remedy. I'm going to need that when I'm done with her. <laughs> STD joke. Let's, uh, come into this house. What do we got here? My love hasn't sent me back any letters since he's been gone. I'm sick with worry. Now, take a look here. We've got some flowers. A bookshelf. One bed. Smells like, uh... Smells like sex. Let's not hang out here. Let's move on. There's actually a story of that, if I'm not mistaken, in the world of Ruin, that you can do with her. And it's it's not like a optional event. I think it's actually like it's you know everything in the world of ruin is an optional event because you can go straight for for Kafka after you get the airship. But I think it's one to get your one of your party members. So it's kind of an important side quest. Okay, so at this point, let's definitely save. And uh, I'm gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel the uh, recording here. I'm gonna pause the recording and I will see you guys. You know what? No, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's just run. I was going to say, I can get my way back to the next city without all the random battles. I'm just going to go through and speed them up and post anyway. So let's just keep moving. Keep on pushing forward. Why not, right? Why not? Keep on pushing forward. One of the great things about this, uh, this hack is the way that they handle the dodge mechanic in the battles, or the, like, block mechanic. It's so much better than the original one. Of course, the original one was bugged. Magic block was the only thing that really mattered. Dodge slash physical block had no impact at all. So it was possible to have 100% evasion because you just have 100% magic block and it would basically make you immune to everything. But in this game, it actually feels like the, the blocking mechanic is just right. You know, a good, a good 35 to 45% chance with the right equipment really makes all the difference in the world. Now, oh, is this going to be enough to kill these guys? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say probably not. So let's drop an all ice... It was not indeed enough to kill him. I should have been setting that ice, queuing that ice up uh, when I was sitting there waiting for Sabin to use his, his fire dance. But you know, it's not perfect gameplay, but it is what it is. Let's switch back over to Sabin and do a second fire dance here, and that should be enough to kill them all if they're not already dead. And in fact, they're not all dead. I thought they would be. Oh no, they have stopped Sabin mid fire dance. Did you see that? Was that a critical miss? The screen flashed like a critical hit. But it was a miss. I don't think I've ever seen that before. A critical miss. And of course, the last one, the one guy back there hanging on with like 25 HP, is the one... And there's another critical miss! That is... Okay, now everybody's missing, which is very displeasing. But that critical miss, I've never... That's, um, two times in a row and I've never seen that before. 
Oh shit. My cat is um my cat has now jumped up in front of the computer screen. Luckily I have two screens, and I have the recording on one screen and the game on the other. The cat is blocking my view of the actual game window. It did not like those flashes. Those, those pissed it off. Get it down. Alright. Taken care of! Taken care of. That's the meta game. Is avoiding the cat being in the way. Did I not heal? I did not heal. Let's get out of here! These fossil fangs, I have a, I have a hunch these guys are, are going to kick my ass if I stick around. Actually, maybe not. Look at... Oh, no, we're healing him. Never mind, get out of there. <laughs> I was going to say, look at that damage! Nope, that's only half damage because the second hit is a healing hit. Let's, uh, let's use... Why does Locke keep losing all of his MP? Am I just using Locke's spells every day and forgetting it? It seems like he's, he's lost a lot of MP. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. Let's, uh... Let's ore bolt on these guys. Don't use the fire dance on these scrubs. Whatever you do, don't fire dance these guys. Taking down the rain man. Ore bolt in his face. Didn't kill him. Really surprised. Ore bolt used to be like a guaranteed kill. All day, every day, guaranteed kills. In the original game. Because it was so overpowered. And by the way... I know in one video I said I thought battle power didn't affect blitzes, and in another video I said I thought it did. Uh, after rereading all the comments and uh, doing a little bit of a little bit of research on my own, I think it depends on the the blitz, and I think that it's usually the magic power is the one I'm looking at, and not the battle power for the blitz damage. All that being said, uh, I still have no idea what's going on 95% of the time. I'm just happy when the attacks do the damage, and the damage kills the enemy. That's uh, that's all I'm shooting for. That is all I'm shooting for. So that first town that we went to, the bottom left corner, they had a great uh, armor shop. But I just didn't have the money. And now, after this trip, hopefully I'll have enough money, and there'll be even better stuff at the next town. Because I do not want to have to go all the way back there to get armor. That's the problem with um, Japanese RPGs in general is that there's just a lot of world map traveling with really high encounter rates. That right there is Vector. I am not going into Vector. No way, no how. Not yet, anyway. Vector, apparently the the heart of the Empire, the place where all of their troops come from, I actually thought that, um, gets it before that they had all these towns, but no. It appears that indeed it is from that one city. They're like a city-state. An evil city-state. If such a thing existed. You know, thinking back on it, I don't know if very many city-states were ever really that evil. You know, it's usually countries. Uh, empires. That are evil. Kingdoms, city-states, they're usually okay. They're usually okay. So let's go ahead and heal up after that. I feel like every battle we have to heal, which is again why I feel that I'm so underleveled, because I don't remember having to heal every single round. Uh, can we... Oh, I was gonna say, can we not exit up? Can we exit north, please? Please exit north? More of the same. More of the same. Now, are those Waverns weak to fire? Not weak to fire, but do they take damage from fire? I don't remember. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna Aura Bolt. Celeste is so weak. You know, her, her battle power, compared to everybody else, is so low. I get because it's, she's a magic user, she's not supposed to have the, the maximum amount of, a. Uh, Physical, uh, prowess. That being said, it just feels like she is so underpowered compared to everybody else. It's because I don't want to waste the, uh, MP casting spells, and the spell's the only thing she has that does decent damage. It's vicious! She's a tough character, I think, to, to play in this, in this hack. So far, anyway. Maybe she gets overpowered later. With different weapons and stuff. But for now, she feels like a very difficult character to control. So there we go, the quote-unquote seizure uh, status ailment. Are you... that was... Uh, Sabin. I'm doing it the same way I always do it, Sabin. Why you gotta be like that? Why's it gotta be like that, guys? Why's it gotta be like that? Let's, uh, let's just finish this guy off. And this time it's gonna take, right? It is. It's gonna take. Which is good news, bears. Taking down Spike. Spike is dead feel bad. These dogs, I'm sure they're like, just wandering around, they're not hurting anybody. They get mixed up with these evil waverns, and they, uh... That's what happens when you hang out with a bad crew. That's what happens. Now, where am I going? 
I'm going, I better give you some heals. One heal, you heal on everybody, that's, that's enough. I don't want to spend more than 8 MP per random battle or I'm going to run out. Now, at some point in the game, you do get something called a, a Mog Relic of some kind that stops random battles. The problem is when you put that on, all of a sudden it's like, well, there goes your experience. So we've arrived in Xian. Xian. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. Xi. Xi. Xian. Our royal family was slaughtered by the Empire. That sucks. So this was a kingdom. Even though it's not a castle, it was a kingdom because they had a royal family. Most of the town's youth were led off to serve as Imperial Troopers. Now, why why this works is beyond me. Imagine, if you will, we're back in the real world, not in Final Fantasy land, and Murka goes and invades, I don't know, Mexico. And instead of, like, subjugating the citizens and, you know, I don't know, killing them all or whatever, we make them join our army and we give them our weapons. And we say, go and kill other Mexicanians. Because, you know, not Mexico's a kingdom, and it's not Mexicans, it's Mexicanians. Um, would that work? I think that would not work. I think they would take you up and say, thank you very kindly, and shoot you in the face. How the Empire can come in here and force these people to put on Magitech armor and fight for the Empire is, it makes no sense to me. My parents said it was dangerous outside, but I came out anyway. That's, uh, is that a double entendre? I get the feeling that that's like... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explain that double entendre. But if you see that double entendre too, then you can write about it in the comments. It's dangerous to come out, but I came out anyway. The Empire has a weapon called the Guardian. If you see it, run. This is actually a really good hint. This old man. You don't have to talk to him, but getting that hint, it's uh, it's good. I heard there's a huge gate deep inside a cave to the east. I heard that spreading rumors makes you a bad man. Our kid's still not home yet, even though we said it was dangerous outside. Well, instead of standing here in front of your broken-ass house, why don't you come right down here and you can see him. See, you can you can actually see him. In fact, you might be able to see him from there. I don't know. I guess it depends on how far you can see with your spray, spray eyes. So you actually can knock it into this house. And I believe that's because this house is a dungeon. Quote-unquote dungeon. And she's blocking you from getting in there, so the programmer's going to have to activate that dungeon at this point. And that's with the Empire. We'll make you pay. I can afford to pay, sir. I have money. I have money in the bank. There's nothing up here. Nobody up here. There's nothing going on. Don't ever even remember this spot, because I'm sure that there's never going to be anybody up there. Ever. Got the relic shop. At this point, we can now buy amulets, which block berserk, muddle, and stone, which are probably important. To be honest with you, um, I don't have anything that blocks stone right now. And this way here might be good, too. The blocking the zombie effect. If there's an enemy that turns your whole party into zombies... Zombies. I think you're screwed. I think that's like a game over condition. This knight's cape is so good. That's why I have so many of them. So darn good. I, I kind of want to buy that stuff, too, but again, we're so low on money that it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense to buy that stuff. Is that it? Have I explored this whole town? There's the inn, which I don't need to use. And there's the item shop. Let's check out what the item shop has. The general store. They have revivifies. Which, in fact, I think I'm going to buy a couple of these here. Let's buy seven? Yeah, let's buy seven. Because the fact that they're selling them, plus the relic that uh, stops zombification from occurring, makes me really concerned that uh, enemies that make you zombies are coming up here. What about the blacksmith? He's got an ocean claw, which is weaker than... The poison, cl which it says it's stronger. It's 100 damage versus 90. Why does it say it'll lower his attack then? I, I don't trust this whole entire game thing. We got a Morning Star. Randomly insta kills, ignores Rose. So let's get this for Celeste. Faux show. She's gonna need that real bad because uh, her weapon is bollocks. Randomly throws, ignores Row. Second weapon. I don't know. Let's buy two. <laughs> I have no clue. Let's uh, let's equip the Celeste, the Celeste with the Morning Star. It does lower her evade by ten, but it gives her basically like an extra 60-70% battle power compared to what she's got now. 
And then let's switch over to um to lock here. And I kind of want to give him two of these. Although, if you look at how much it lowers his evade to have two of those. His evade right now is at 84%. This will increase his attack. I can then move him to the back row, which will increase his defense. But he's going to lose 20% evade if I put these two things on him. Is it worth it? I think the answer's got to be no, it's not worth it. Look at this, right? Look at this, uh, this evade. I don't want to lose it. It's 84. Let's not, let's not do anything to mess with his evade. He's got, he's got a good thing going, right? Locke has got a good thing going for him right now. Let's not mess it up. Why is his MP even lower than it was before? I didn't cast anything on him, did I? Is this weapon lowering his MP? Can I check that? How do you look at weapons? Let's put him on with the full moon. The items. Let's look at the runic blade. Is that going to be at the bottom now that I swapped it out? It is. Uses MP for critical hits. It does! It does lower his... God dang it! Why would I want to... Mm. Why can't it tell you that on the equipped menu? Is there a way to get... I'm hitting left, right, X, Y, A... B. There's no way to look at it in the equip menu. There should be like a pull up stats button. I didn't know that was what's going on. No wonder he's been sucking so much cock. Let's uh let's get him to the end. Get his MP refill refilled. Now if that switchblade is what I'm gonna be using, I should move him to the back row, right? Because not the switchblade, the full moon. Because it does the same damage from the back row as it does from the front. So it makes sense, I think, to put him in the back row there. So let's do that. Let's put him in the back row. Why are we walking so slow to get to the end? I thought we usually dashed our way up here. Either way, uh, we've now explored both towns. We've got some better weapons. We've got some revivifies. I think those are going to be useful. Like I said, I'm not sure. The fact that they're selling them makes me think I want them. It's that, uh, the darn marketing is what it is. Now, I believe there's a chocobo. Oh, really? And it's a pincer attack. Oh, game, why do you hate me so much? I feel like maybe I should have got him the ocean thing. Let's, uh, let's fire dance. Let's fire dance if you want to. Can leave our... Oh, we can't runic because she doesn't have a blade now. Well, that's going to be a problem, right? If Celeste can't runic because she's got the thrower bowl on, that might be worth, um... Maybe worth looking into changing. Runic is the only thing Celeste's got going for, right? That makes her like a decent party member. Can we put on a full edge, a runic thing, and <sighs> it's gonna lower her evade so much though. But you know what? It puts her battle power up to 200 something, which puts her back on track to being useful. If that's gonna be the case, then maybe I should put her in the front. Oh, cat just sneezed. Not that you guys care. Is there not a chocobo hut in here? I thought for sure there was a chocobo station there. I guess there's not. So I'm going to save it here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year. Thanks for supporting the YouTube channel last year. And I hope to see, uh, I hope to see you continuing support this year. And uh, I'll continue reading all the comments, as I always do. Don't forget, this year's a big year for me. I'm going to be going back to Taiwan. So there might be a, a week or two where there's very little YouTube content. I'm going to try and get some backlog going, but we'll see. We'll see. So until next time, friends, would you do me a favor? Would you stay classy? Thank you so much. And take care.